hello let's continue with the, our beam design as we were talking about a little bit earlier to, which was yesterday I'll link up the video that I did when I was designing for the bending moment now we want to look at a totally different thing to get to today we are looking at shear shear causes cracks like the ones that you can see here and here so if if there's a fault within the concrete beam like this you might see cracks that are of 45 degree that are 45 degree to the support here those cracks indicate that there is shear failure again now what happens is uh, when it comes to shear there are a, a, there's a list of formula that you need to follow the first thing is you multiply 100 by with the area of steel the area of steel that you if you still remember we were calculating this we came up with this area of steel like this one right this area of steel which is a s that is for the bending moment is also required to go for, uh, to calculate the shear force okay so what you do is that you multiply it by 100 and you divide it by the the breadth and the depth of the beam okay so in our case if you more if you substitute the numbers you are going to come up with this value here okay so when you come up with such a value you need to need you need to use this table in the base it's table 3.11 okay so this is useful for concrete grade 25 now there is a way that you use to convert as you can see here if you have uh, let's say you were designing using grade 13 you say that grade 13 divided by 25 and then you find the cube root of that value the number that you get you multiply with the values in this table so that you get the actual value uh, for the design for for the design as per your concrete design strength okay so uh, in this case we we have a number here which is 87 0 0.87 okay if you find out if you are looking at this table this is you, you you did this calculation so the number that you are coming up with is along this line okay so it is between 0 0.75 and, and 1 okay so since it is between these two you use what is called interpolation okay then we are looking at the depth of the beam the depth of the beam was let me go back a bit okay the depth of the beam was 4 4 450 okay for 450 it's easy i think this is just an example you look at this column here since it's greater than 400 you are you are limited to these values here so if you follow this you come up with this value which is 0 0.75 then the higher value is 0 0.65 so your answer should be between these two numbers okay that value that you come up with now is the one that you you use to to evaluate so in our case um it is somewhere in the middle so since it's uh, let's say it's 0 0.6 okay let's assume it's 0 0.6 as we'll be going through our calculations i'm working on coming up with hand calculations for you okay so since it is between these two numbers what you need to do now is uh you need to do a, a bit of checks here okay this is the table that you use for checks it's table 3.12 of the bs it's table 3.7 in the bs 8110 which is the one that we are using uh, for designs in this country especially in zimbabwe that's the one that we use in south africa they use hubs which is actually something that was driven from this very um this very code okay so v is the number that you came up with for in our case we said let's assume that it is 0 0.6 okay so since it's 0 0.6 which is between these two numbers okay and the concrete grade for now let's say it is grade 25 if it was another grade you multiply you divide it by zero by 25 here then you multiply the answer with that value so that you convert it to the relevant values okay now this is just a simple checking table okay the answer if v 
now by V we are looking at the shear that is being uh, felt at, at any support the shear is actually uh, the reaction at a support okay so reaction is a half of the load that is supported by a simply supported beam and uh, the total load there that is so if that is less than 0 0.5 times uh, times VC VC was in our in our case 0 0.6 so half of that is 0 0.3 then no links required but nominal uh, pra practical to provide nominal links in okay this only means that you provide links for hanger bars hanger bars are the tube reinforcement that you'll be putting at the top there so for them to be supported and to suspend they need hanger bars okay now if you've got a value that is above 0 0.5 v when this value v is is greater than this number but less than v plus 0 0.5 you use nominal links you use this equation here so uh, what we then do the bsv is divided on this side okay so that you see you are left to 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.87 fy the reason why we do that is when we this is an example that we will look at in in the near future okay the reason that that we do such such a thing is there's a table that we use uh, let me go to that table okay we use this table here okay so the number that you come up with uh, from that table you will find it uh, in this in this in in this table here okay so let's say it was 0 0.6 if you look at it from this table you find out this number is slightly greater than 0 0.6 this is less so you'll be forced to use this one so you'll be using a links of a diameter of 10 spaced at 250 if you your your value is this one okay so if you are supposed to use nominal links and uh, there's actually a bit of law that governs the maximum spacing of links that is 0 0.75 times d is the maximum spacing for any kind of link okay uh, I'll be looking into that in, the, in a future tutorial. I hope you find this is you find this useful. If you have any questions, just write your email address and whatever you want to ask. I'll send you an email. Thank you for your time.